Mm-hmm. Do that on, on yours? Yeah. Kind of alternate back and forth? Yeah. Hey, folks. So we're, uh, we just came down on this, uh, I'll show you here. I can get the camera to, what the hell's all this stuff now at the bottom? Here we go. We got some traps set down through here, and um, me and Jeff Rowe. But we got, uh, we never, we know we got a double here, so we thought we'd show you that, reset that up, and then uh, cruise along. Cruise along while we uh, check these other ones down through here and see what we got. So I thought that'd be kind of fun, but um, Jeff, bro, you want to get, grab that one over there first, or that one first, or don't care first? We'll do here first. So as always, get your coffee. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to get my coffee while I'm standing here. Get your coffee. It takes me a minute. Get your coffee, Everett, folks. It, uh, it takes him a minute to remake these. They got to be really blended in good. Second female. Hey, Darren Woods, how's it going? Darren Woods. Well, that won't be in the, this. We got a competition going, a camp competition. Um, biggest otter, biggest beaver, uh, biggest coon, biggest coyote, and the smallest of each species. And then we threw money in the box, you know, and so the winner will get the money. Um, but that won't be the smallest otter because Mike's got one about half that size right now. We're setting for the bigs. They're setting for the lights. Um, yeah, he could have caught that one he caught in a 155. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's what he was using. He's trying to focus on the little ones. Yep. Like so. Um, Kevin said he just got back from the first sale in Marshall, Michigan. Be safe out there. Nice. Hopefully that went well. Give us good news, Kevin. Good news. $100 otters? Yep. This is the one I rub mud all over the uh, jaws. Well, appreciate it, Darren. Darren's using some of our products. Uh, awesome. He's putting coyote sets in. Darren catches a lot of stuff, sends us some pictures. Always appreciate it. That's a fun place. Yeah, I like seeing it uh, in our little shop that we, uh, you know, produce stuff there and then send it all over the country and the world. And then people send us pictures and videos and, you know, that they're catching stuff. Brittany Dostel's on. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Here we go. She's a wild one. <laughs> we just seen your man. Yeah, we just seen your man. He he was with his uh, trapping wife, Lolinda. Yep. She was a bayou bunny. A, ba a bayou bunny is what she... She had it written right across her butt. It said bayou bunny. Yep. Tramp stamp. I don't know what it meant. I don't know... If they just became really good friends on the ride down, or <laughs> what, I have no idea. But Bayou Bunny was a little intriguing to me and Jeff. <laughs> but, so here's what I'm doing. 
just coating them. What we found with cameras, these water sets not so much, but especially if you're setting them on dry, we're finding, you know, definitely a few refusals every now and then, you know, so we're trying to, trying to force them as much as possible and blend them as much as we can. Right, Jeff? Yep. Yeah, because you mudded that one yesterday. Yep. Don't know if that had anything to do. There's no coincidences. Don't know. And then I put this here just to keep the... Anthony, I got 16 trail cameras out right now. I can't afford any more uh, trail camera <laughs> footage. <laughs> Trying to hold this stuff in place so it doesn't drift off. There we go. All right, buddy. Like so. Yeah, those trail cameras do get expensive, especially when you start running a bunch of the darn things. And it's not so much the camera, it's the damn batteries. See how Jeff's got, see how he's got that one really covered up? It's definitely, uh, definitely helping, I think. You go over your boot yep. <laughs> good good we can be we can be wet sock brothers it's a good club to be in jeff do you have any newer ones past the xb i don't tacticam you do got newer ones from the XB? What you know what those are called? I got the old XB ones and I got the uh Tacticam the real X and I got basically all of them except for the highest caliber. Okay. Mama. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> you guys out there, you do that to deer. They just come to it. It's like crazy. How great that works. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Keep yelling it over and over. Mama. Mama. <laughs> you do it in Walmart. Like that. <laughs> do it in Walmart, and then you have a whole lot of Nick's Nick's kids come running. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all all of Nick's baby mamas. <laughs> Any kids that look, those are next kids. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed next kids. Anthony, I may try browning. Five second to two minute videos? Heck yeah, that's a, that's definitely a bonus there. The uh, Tacticams, I know they were at one point limited out at 60 seconds, but if you can get a two minute video, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Burton, weather has definitely improved, buddy. Brittany says, them bayou bunnies don't want to mess with this mountain mama. <laughs> I don't know, Brittany. He uh he looked pretty content. He was happy. He was smiling. It's, she 
was a different color than you. <laughs> a lot darker. Bigger lips. Friendly girl, though. Yeah. Oh, really white teeth. Yeah. Very friendly. Long fingernails. Yeah. Purple. Definitely purple. Sarah already hired her. Mike Swanson, Haggerty, to keep that grass kind in place, I like having my spring arms straight out just below water level and lay wads of grass on each. Works pretty good. Yes, I fully agree with you, Mike. Um, I don't know if you use those uh, V stands or not yet, but uh, with those V stands, you, bit, you, you uh, fold the spring arms over and that really locks that trap in that V stand. Um, as the, uh, spring eye, um, if you will, um, rotates onto that V, um, and, uh, so yeah, so you can't put, uh, well, I guess you could, but it's just not going to be in that, um, stand as tight, but it really snugs it up when you rotate those arms. I wouldn't do it the way you did it where you caught the otter. I would do it different than that. <laughs> That's a pretty good for you. Yeah, Mike, so go go play in the snow. <laughs> Come on, Swanson. Come on, Swanee. Yeah, don't you have a, a guy by the name of Tommy Bryant to pick on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Darren, that's that's a good beaver right there. And uh, the, all the ones we've been getting today have been pretty decent size. Ah. Mikey sees. Yeah, them stands are awesome, man. They're they're cool. They're very convenient. I think uh, you know, after you we've used them now for about a year. Um I think and I still haven't done it yet. I think what I'm gonna do is uh when I'm using them, I'm gonna take my extension cable, run my extension cable through the V stand itself. So when you do make a catch. The V stand is at least attached to the uh, to the extension cable, but let me throw that up in there. All right, ride along with us. We'll see if we got anything else on this little uh, this little mini levy. Yeah, Mike, they're definitely good. They. Uh, um, they're not very expensive and they, uh, they work. The, the cool thing about them is they work on everything. You know, they work on. From one, I mean, we've used them on 160s to 440s, square or round traps, you know, so that's been pretty cool. You know, and obviously when you go deep water, you want to go to something else, but like the Hag Spring Clip brought to you by J3 Outdoors. Nothing. You don't got nothing in that one? Let me see if I got anything over here. Probably not. I got a, there's a crossover coming right here and drops underneath that. And uh, she's still standing. So nothing in that one. Nope. Wah, wah, wah. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Seems like somewhere right through here, yeah, too. Yeah, I sat right off that one, and you got one over there somewhere. Oh! Look at that. There, there's a good otter right there. I had two sets in this one. I had a dry land set right up here, and then I had a, a set down there. You got anything over there? No? Yeah.
Elstead Taxidermy, I bought some of your beaver rods. What's the best way to pin your metal ends on? Just a, a metal center punch. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show you as soon as we get back to the buggy. Give me just one. Give me about 20 minutes. <laughs> Um, Boy, we might have a contender here, Jeff. That's a big one. He's... That's the way to catch him. Two at a time? Yeah. Got him from the front him. and the back. Yep. He didn't stand a chance. Well, you don't want their tail to fall off. No. You gotta hold it on. Frickin' lasso dude. It's like head and shoulders. Yeah. That's probably the weight wise, probably the biggest one yet. Shit, that's. It's a damn female, too. That's a female? No, it's a big male. He's got wood. See, Mike, with uh, Swanson, when you set that on there like that, it's just sitting there. It's not really down in, but when you rotate those those arms around, it really binds it, pinches it right in there. I know there's a snake right here somewhere. Right there by the trap. This one ain't got no. No more triggers on it. Damn Bell Isle triggers. <laughs>
You want a different one? Yeah, so I mean, I think I got one. Well, at least it died with a catch. See, this is what I think is awesome about these stands of versatility right there. Yeah. You know? You're not carrying extra stands and stuff like that. Available at SheTraps.com. Mike said we're going to need sideboards on the rig soon to hold our your catch. <laughs> yeah, we're not even we're not even half done yet. Midday drop. Be falling out, going down the freaking road. Low battery, 20% remaining. Uh, we, there are, uh, runs plus, um, you know, caster mount sets with the big pile. Look at this big old eye. That's a big son of a gun. That's the big dick daddy otter. Him right, uh, right by his little sucker hole. Got that one by the ass man. <laughs> 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 All right, so somebody was asking about the end. So all I do, I don't know. Can you see those divots? Those dimples. Yep. So I just take a, uh, a center punch, lay the, uh, put the rod in, put the end on, just center punch it, and then uh, turn it over, do the same thing on the other side. Um, you could do more or less punches if you want, whatever you're comfortable with, but I always take a, uh, a, a marker and I'll mark it right there, right on the edge, after I peened it on. And then I'll hit it up against my vise or up against something just to try and 
pop that end out just to make sure it's held on there good and tight. And uh, when you see your divots, your, your peening in there like that, it's in there good. But I always do it just to make sure. Some guys are using epoxy. Um, they've used epoxy on theirs and peened it. I've never done that yet. But um, the one thing you want to do at the end of season or beginning of season, um, get a wire wheel and uh you know whether it's on your bench grinder or whatever knock the rust off because the tolerance between the lock and that end is really really uh it's it's pretty small um there's not a lot of variance there and uh, especially you start trapping in water like this um where it's probably pretty acidic um those will rust up if you're not protecting them or whatever. So if they really rust up before season, just spin them on a grinder and a wire wheel, brass wire wheel or something, just to knock that rust off. And they'll go on there again like they should, if they're sticking, right? Um, I think I checked 50 or so, and I had three of them that were sticking that I hit on the wire wheel. But um, So just something to keep in mind too i mean it's steel right so you just want to protect it so your lock will slide over it when you want it to or need it to but um michael asked can you hit an otter on a caster set yeah we'll hit, we'll hit some down here and a few in michigan every year with a caster set i'm gonna go over here and fix my set up i mean keep it yeah so but yeah, so hopefully that answered your question about uh, about the ends and how we do the end. You bet, Halstead. If you have any questions or whatever, or have an issue, shoot me a shoot me a message or a video or pictures or something. I'll try and help you out as best I can. But it's pretty simple, really simple. You got a lot of outer track over here too, huh? Come yep. Play the yep. Oh, good deal. Glad glad that helped you. Um, but all right. Well, we got a ways to go before we get to the next spot we set up. So um, we'll go ahead and end it. And um, uh, thank you all for uh, for tuning in. And we'll head on down the line. Yeah, Michael, it is very simple. So. All right, thank y'all. We'll come back live if there's anything exciting. But we'll talk at you later. Bye.